after contouring a map, we're going to go through how to make a profile of the map. Uh, you can see that I've got my screen set up here. So in the webcam view, if it looks like I'm squinting really hard, is because you know I'm trying to think about math and stuff. But luckily, I can speed up the video. Just like this. And then it looks like I think really fast and awesome. So you can see here we've got a map. Uh, could be any map that you could contour. So we got our uh, graphical scale right here. Here it is, graphical scale about that much equals 50 meters. You'll notice that when we look at that, that's uh, just over a centimeter. So here we have our map. You see that they've given us some kind of uh, contouring, um, 100 interval, and let's just say to keep it nice and clean and metric, that it's meters. So this is your standard, just looking like you know any other hill type pattern. You'll see that there's something really fun happening right here. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make a cross section. It's right through here. Let's say we've got a W to E. It's very important when you draw your cross section, if you're not given one already, you do it on a nice straight line. There we go, W to E. So we're gonna draw our first cross section on W to E. Now it looks like it'd be harder than it really is, but it's really not too bad. So the first thing you wanna do, you wanna take your handy dandy graph paper, and you're just gonna make a nice X and Y axis. Now the reason why you want this line nice and straight, but what we can do is we can measure its length, keeping it nice and clean and metric, and we'll see here, 165 millimeters. So we're just gonna come over here, and that line there, that's our X. So you just start here, 165, goes about here, and there we go. Then we take our ruler, make sure that we have a really nice straight line again. It's always good to go a little bit over, just in case. So there, that can be our x-axis. Give myself a little bit of room and make our y-axis. Now you'll notice our range here. We need to go from 0, 0 would be a good place to start, to 700. Now remember, if you're plotting depth, you'll be doing it backwards. If you're plotting height, you'll be doing it regular words. For this example, I'm going to show you height. Make this line nice and dark so everyone can see it. Now you notice it's not with the ruler, so now it's very sloppy. I'll push harder next time. All right, so we know that we need to go about 700 meters. So this can be zero since we're doing a hill. If you're doing depth, again, zero would be up here. And we're just going to go up. And what's really nice is you can go 50, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, and go a little over. That would be 800. I'll just draw that in there. All right, remember, guys, when you're making a profile, you are making a graph. So it's very important that you don't think of it as a drawing until it's all the way done. And really, that's what graphing is. You're just making drawings. Think of them as works of art, but only after you're all done. So there's our uh, 700, 600, 500, see if I count it right, 400, 300, 200, 100. Victory is mine. Now that we have our graph set up, always good to do a uh, title on every graph. So this would be the W to E profile for, you know, Mystery Mountain. Great. So now we got the W E profile for Mystery Mountain. And you're just going to come through. And what's really nice here, now you could measure this out and use your scale and scale this out, but you know, why do that? Now we know we've got 165 millimeters and this block over here, we're gonna have 165 millimeters total. This block right here, about 15 millimeters. Then we do a little bit of mathematics. So we know that we have 15 millimeters here. We know we have 165 total and that is scaled to 50 meters. And that's going to equal, we have 165 millimeters over here. And that's going to give us X total meters. Then you just do a little bit of cross multiplication and solve for X using your normal math skills. So we'll check this out. I'm a cheap calculator time. So know that 15 X, because there's our cross multiply, that is going to equal 50 times 165, 8,250. So remember, it's a proportion, so we're just using scalar factors, not unit cancellation, so don't worry, chemistry people that are units aren't canceling. Uh, so we're just trying to figure out how many meters we'd end up with here. 
So you take 8250 divided by 15 gives us 500, 550 meters is equals x. So then we know that at our farthest point over here on the graph, at our farthest point out, the whole 165 millimeters, we know that we're going to be, you know, that is 550 meters. So we have our map. And why we want to use the paper in the straight lines is because what we can do here is we can take our cheating paper that we did the math on and put one corner on W, line the other mark up with where E will be. So there's E. And then every point where the map intersects W to E, you just make a little hash. So there's a little mark, there's a little mark, that one, that one, there's one, there's one, another, 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 another. So now we're just going to slide this out of the way a little bit so we can see our contour intervals. Now this first one here was 100. The second one on the map is 200. The third one we came across, there it is, was 300. And this one here, 400. Our next one up here, 500. Our next one came a little bit later. Well, because we missed, see, we missed the six and the 700. So we know at some point, right, we're not at the top of the hill because our profile just barely misses it. So we know that the next one over here is 500 again. Now you know that this is going to be going up in the middle there, so it's important to note that because it's a hill. We have 500, 400, 300, 200, and 100 again. Now what's really nice about doing it the W to E method, you'll see when we line it up here, our E lines up exactly with the end of the paper. And then all I have to do is just plot the points, and since we're on graph paper, it's really easy to do. So there's And then E, which is on the ground again. Now remember, we drew this arrow right here to remind us that there is some sort of hill action going on. Which is important because, remember, our graph is in fact a picture. So we know that there's some kind of swooping. And we also know that it doesn't get to 600 or we would have had another line in there. So you can just sort of freehand that, put the peak about halfway in between unless you have some other data suggesting otherwise. And then just very smoothly, just connect the lines. Not and there you have it. We get this out of the way and we see we have a profile from 0 to 550 meters, going from a height of 0 all the way up to just over 550 meters. What's really, really fun with this is you can actually see make this more curvy like it's an actual hill. Because you can actually get a feel for looking at it from the side. That, boys and girls, is how you make a profile.